winter break. Heard of that? Coming up for families across Western New York. Are you ready to try and escape the snow and get out to that warm getaway? If so, you're not alone. With so many people itching to get out of the cold, AAA says 2022 is starting out as a strong year for travel despite the ongoing pandemic. Online travel bookings are up 247% compared to this time last year. Travel reservations for last month even surpassed pre-pandemic levels up 20% over January 2019. So where are Western New Yorkers going this time of year? AAA says based on its reservations through April, the top destinations for our region are Orlando, Fort Lauderdale and Miami. The most popular international spots are Cancun, Punta Cana and Montego Bay. Tonight's 7 News anchor Katie Morris is breaking down what to keep in mind if you're looking to book a getaway. The Thompson family from East Aurora got back from a dream vacation to Naples, Florida a few weeks ago. Initially, the family of five planned to visit an all-inclusive resort on the Caribbean island nation of St. Lucia, but COVID changed those plans. We thought maybe St. Lucia is not such a good idea given what could end up happening right now when you fly back into the U.S. from another country, the CDC requires you show a negative COVID test. The family decided leaving the country was too much of a risk. So we weren't so much fearful of uh, getting sick. We were fearful of the results of what would happen if we did. What's the healthcare system like in St. Lucia? Uh, wh what happens if one person tests positive a day before we're returning? Are we gonna, am I going to leave my 18-year-old in St. Lucia? We had visions of all five of us quarantined for an extra week before we could come back to the United States and it costing me you know, 10,000 bucks at an all-inclusive resort to sit in a room. Those are concerns AAA travel advisors say they're hearing every day. You know, there is the, the chance of testing positive to come home, which does concern a lot of people. Matthew Covert is a senior travel advisor with the company. Very, very he says pleasant. people are more comfortable traveling these days, but they might not be ready to make an international trip yet. We are getting a lot of people wanting to travel the U.S. I mean, we have 50 beautiful states here um, and a lot to explore. He says Hawaii and Disney World are two spots seeing huge travel Travel demand. If you are comfortable traveling internationally, Matthew says just make sure you plan ahead and build in flexibility. Everybody should be prepared. I mean, you know, the possibility is there. You know, we don't ever plan to test positive that things happen. Um, you know, making sure that you have the proper insurance, that's the big thing. You know, coverage is there for you for those specific situations. Jerry says his family did just that, so the trip changes didn't end up being an issue. Got the resort in uh, St. Lucia. Uh, adjusted, to, we got a refund, and it was credited back to another resort, and we decided to stay at the uh, Naples Grand Beach Resort in Naples, Florida. The family says this time around, Florida was a perfect, warm getaway. It was probably one of the best times we've ever had. We're looking forward to the next one. Katie Morse, 7 News.